family opened the first microbrewery in Taipei in 1995. People thought, how crazy is this family to open a microbrewery in Palestine, in the Middle East? They're doomed to fail. But I guess my family proved them wrong after 15, 16 years now. I was 10 years old when my family opened the brewery. I just moved back from Boston, Massachusetts, running around in the brewery, watching my family build up the business, folding cartons, running around, making noise. But I also was watching my family learning how to do the business. I've been working with them for the past three and a half years after I finished college, and I'm now told that I am the first Palestinian female brewer. Surprised? <laughs> well, how do you think people thought of a microbrewery in the Middle East? What do you think people thought of an Oktoberfest in Taiba? <laughs> well, in 2005, my family uh, organized the first Oktoberfest in Taiba. It's not like the German Oktoberfest, like you see on TV or you've been to Munich, but it's sort of a Palestinian-style Oktoberfest. Lots of beer, lots of music, lots of entertainment. But we also have a lot of people coming to Taipei. Imagine an area with thousands of people, crowded. You can't even walk. You got food stands on one side, and you got local products on another side for sale. But, you also, but you're listening to um, Palestinian hip-hop music, rap music, rock, and folklore dancing. So how fun is that with a glass of Taibé beer in your hand as well? <laughs> well, our intentions go way past just getting people drunk, if you want, <laughs> or enjoying the music. Our intentions go we want people to forget about politics, forget about that idea that they have in their mind from watching the news about Palestinians, forget about the backgrounds, and just enjoying the company, enjoying the weather, enjoying the beer, enjoying the music. We had last, um, our Oktoberfest was three weeks ago almost. It was our sixth annual Oktoberfest. We hosted more than 16, 20,000 people in two days. We had people from all over the world coming, from Japan, from um, the US, from Israel, from uh, Sri Lanka, from Brazil, anywhere you can think of coming just for the Oktoberfest. They wanna see that idea of the, another Palestine. Well, I had people coming to me during the Oktoberfest and saying, are you Medis? I'd be like, yes, because I didn't know them, yet they knew me. And they'd be like, oh, we've read about you. We've saw a documentary about you. Good luck. Uh, we, um, we're so proud of you and, and whatever. Wish you best of luck and such. So that gives you, well, gives me the uplifting feeling. I was very proud when people approached me. Um, apparently, I'm famous. <laughs> Well, my passion is not just to make beer and to follow my father's footsteps. My passion is also to bring people together to celebrate life with Taipei beer. Thank you. Thank you.